Uh, so if an ordered pair is a solution uh, to this system of inequalities, then we should be able to plug in the x and the y coordinates and it should make a true statement. So up here if I replace the x with the 3, because 3 is my x coordinate, and I place the y with negative 3, uh, I can simplify. Let's see if it makes a true statement. 3 times 3 makes 9. 9 plus negative 3 is going to make 6, right? Oh, I wrote, <laughs> wrote 6 because I was saying it. 6 is greater than 5. The alligator is doing the right thing. This is a true statement. The alligator's mouth is opening and eating 6. So that means, yes, this is true for this inequality. But for it to be true for the system, it's also got to work for the other inequality. So if I plug in 3 in for x, and I have a negative 3 for y, uh, look, it's minus a negative 3. There's already a minus sign built into the inequality. So 2 times 3 makes 6. Minus a negative 3 means plus 3. So 6 plus 3 makes 9. That is a true statement. The alligator is eating the right thing. So this is a solution. Okay, And there's actually an infinite amount of points that work. It's not just one. You know, It's uh, an infinite direction in x and y that will work. Just particular x and y's though. Some will, some will. Let's check out this next one. The x is, y, uh, the x is 7. The y is 1. So if you plug in 7 in for x and 1 in for y, we'll do some mental math here to make this one easier. 7 times 3 makes 21. 21 plus 1 is 22. 22 is definitely greater than 5. Now if we plug in one in for uh, 7 in for x and 1 in for y over here, 2 times 7 makes 14. 14 minus 1 makes 13. 13 is not less than 10. So it didn't work for both. It has to work for both. So we say no or something like that. 7 comma 1 is not a solution.